capital S, which is not a human spirit, but the Holy Spirit. By the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. The Galatian church received more of the spirit by the hearing of faith. Now, another word for the hearing of faith is for the hearing of the word. All right? So when you hear the word, sound word taught, it is the word of faith. So the Bible is also called the word of faith. And Paul had a problem with the church in Galatia. He was like, why are you people becoming um, 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 backsliding and you are getting into narcissism and all those things? But, but did, did, you, did you receive the spirit by the hearing of faith or by the law? So when you hear faith messages, the spirit of God comes upon you. When you sit under sound, authentic faith messages, the Holy Ghost. This morning, I was so cool. I was teaching the word. But the spirit was moving on people. Because Charlie Empire time message. You know, I, didn't, I did not sleep last night. I spent almost four hours praying through the spirit in the night. So as I was talking, I was so cool. But power was behind the word. So when you listen to faith-filled messages, power of God comes. Do you know why when you hear faith-centered messages, they stay with you for a long time? They have been cooked and baked in the spirit. I tell my students in the Bible school that messages that are prepared from the heart go straight to the hearts of people. Messages that are prepared from the head goes to their head. And those are the messages when they hear it, 10 minutes they forget. When you hear one message, it stays with you for almost a year. It means that Charlie of one or the empire and son will preach it. Am I communicating? But we call it the hearing of faith. When, when, when I'm sharing the word like this, I'm, I'm releasing faith. Your faith is coming alive. Your faith is coming alive. They told you you cannot build a house, but as the man of God is preaching, something reverberates in your spirit, and you are like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Maybe somebody told you that sickness will kill you, but as you are listening to faith messages, hearing of faith, the Holy Ghost moves on you. So when you hear faith-centered messages, the Spirit of God comes on us. As I'm speaking, may the Holy Ghost brood over us tonight. Now, there's an example. Let's go to Acts chapter 10, verse number 40. Act 10. Act 10. Act chapter 10, verse... No, 44, verse 44. Act 10, 44. Help me out quickly. Act chapter 10, verse 44. While Peter was still speaking these words. Which words? Preaching the word of God. Whilst Peter was preaching the word of God, the Holy Spirit fell on all those who heard the word. So the Holy Ghost does not only come to us because we are born again, but anytime we are receiving sound faith messages, the Holy Ghost comes upon us. Oh, I pray that tonight as I'm speaking the message of God in faith to God's people, third service, I'm seeing the Holy Ghost brooding over you. I see the Holy Ghost brooding over you. I said, I see the Holy Ghost brooding over you. Lift your hand and say, I receive more of the Holy Spirit. I can't hear you. Come on, shout loud. I say, I receive the Holy Ghost. Again, for the last time, shout. He said, I receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So, he said, did you receive the Spirit by the hearing of the law, by, by, by the preaching of, the, of, of faith? So, when we preach faith messages, the Holy Ghost comes upon us. You don't know, but he has settled on you. You don't know, but he has tabernacled you. He has enveloped you. You don't know. But the glory of God is all over you. It's when you step out of here and you go to the office in the morning, people say, ah, it's like something has changed on you. He touched your life. There are times I've been to places I've never spoken. I've not told anybody I'm a pastor. They look at you and they're like, are you a pastor? And I'm like, what did you see? Hello? He's all over you. You carry him about. And this is what one is on you. <laughs> it's not too much makeups. You even lie down, wake up with all the pimples and rashes on your face, and your, your husband is like, My my God, what is this? I love you like crazy. I love you like madness. I love you. You had a purple in my compound. <laughs> Lift you and say, Holy Ghost, I need more of you in my life so sit under faith centered messages messages that brings your faith alive messages that let you know god is able 
God is faithful. God can open the new chapter I'm expecting this year. When you listen to such messages, the Holy Ghost comes on you. Don't be sitting on the messages where it's like all of you are dead. Hallelujah. Number three. Galatians 3.14. Galatians 3.14. So the first one is speaking in tongues is for Christians. The second one, when we hear messages of faith. The third one that the blessing of abraham might come upon the gentiles in christ jesus that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith apart from me preaching the faith message to you you must also sit there and respond with faith you must respond with faith the bible said that when they heard the message it did not it did not affect them because they did not mix it with faith it's one thing me preaching faith message to you and another thing you receive it in faith am i talking how many of you have faith tonight in God that he's able to change the situation? How many of you have faith in God that he's able to deliver, he's able to restore, he's able to lift you up and establish your feet on the rock to stay? How many of you believe 2019 will be the best year in your life? If you have faith like me, I pray that the expectation of your heart shall never be cut off. Every miracle you're expecting, God will supply that need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Can you clap and celebrate Jesus? Hallelujah. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Mark 9 23. Mark 9 23. Quickly. Mark chapter 9 verse 23. I want all of us to read this. Ready? Go. One, two, three, go. Jesus said to them. So this is not Brookman talking. That's why you can doubt it. But Jesus is just talking. Amen. Jesus said to them, uh-huh. If you can believe, uh-huh, all things are possible to him. Any believer here? All things are possible. You must have faith if you can believe you can speak in tongues if you can believe you can walk in this anointing of bishop brookman even twice if you can believe this year you can own your car if you can believe this year you can have your wedding if you can believe this year you can you can pass that examination if you can believe you can travel to america this year if for a shopping spree not to stay there if you can believe doors can open on every side for you do you believe it all things are possible to anyone who has faith so the Bible says that we can receive the promise through faith. Which promise? The promise of the Holy Ghost. We can receive it through faith in God. So if I have faith, then as a child of God, is a gift God has given to the church, and I step into it and speak in tongues, it will happen. It will happen. I prayed for somebody in an airplane once. She was an unbeliever. We were in the business class, and I was sharing the word of God with her preach 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 and she accepted christ in the plane and i said can you receive the holy ghost she said yes so i shared with her something more on the holy ghost and i said hold my hand she held my hands i said father i feel it with the spirit <laughs> in the plane and i said Shh. <laughs> the hostess was like what have you done to her i said nothing no <laughs> nothing even in plane which means that you just have to have faith. You can receive the Holy Ghost. You can speak in tongues. It's that easy. You just have to have faith. If you already speak in tongues, you must all the time pray so that you can grow in the spirit. The Brookman of 30 years ago is a different Brookman today because I'm growing as I walk with the spirit. So you must also grow. And that's when you pray more in the spirit. You pray more in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. When the prophetic movement began in the early 90s, God favored me and I pioneered the prophetic movement in Western Central Region when some of the great prophets were also in Accra. A lot of them knew me because I was bringing them to Western Region and Central Region. The, the wave has subsided a bit. We are now about to move into the apostolic movement. But I say to the glory of God that for about 32 years now, when I still stand there, anointing is still relevant on my life. But most of my friends, when they stand, you can't see the anointing. Why? Because the more you walk with the Holy Ghost, the more the anointing is consistent on your life. You need the anointing. You need the Holy Spirit. And that comes by you receiving in faith. In faith. Anyway, who, who needs the Holy Spirit? This week, 
he's going to be on you and and listen when you enter your office and you have him people will know something has changed you are, you are not clapping at all people know they will notice it I once invited a pastor when, when I was in Paris to our church and as soon as the pastor got down from the airplane we we're going to pick him and at the airport I looked at his face and said something is wrong because I saw that something was left. You, you, saw, you saw the face if somebody carries the anointing you can see it even all over him so I just saw it I saw that no something is wrong and I said you have, you have an issue I said Charlie Bishop I'm depressed I said yes it's all over you in the same way when the Holy Ghost is all over you everywhere you go people can see you in it and i'm saying this week this is what is going to happen lift your hand say i receive more of the spirit i'm not hearing you come on shout say i receive more of the spirit again louder for the last time more of the holy Ghost. holy spirit move me now Make my life whole again. Spirit move over me. Spirit move over me. Spirit move. Hallelujah over me spirit move cafe sotaba over your church holy spirit holy spirit can i see your two hands and let it be your prayer come on church make my life whole again this week we need your Holy Spirit. We need your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Let's take it again. Come on, sing. Holy Spirit. Everybody come on up. We need. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we need you, 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 we you, you, he leaves imprints and evidences when the Holy Ghost increased on my life some of my friends saw it once my friend said hey we see Charlie you have changed because the you we knew it's like something has happened to you. I said yes something has happened to me the Holy Ghost has super saturated me he lives something on your life let's run through some three strong things that will happen when you have more of the Holy Spirit in your life. Am I doing good? Am I blessing you? Number one, Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Act 2, 1 to 4. Act chapter 2, 1 to 4. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, fully come, they waited in the upper room until the day of Pentecost had fully come. Whatever you are doing for God, make sure you do it fully. Don't, 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 don't give God half service. The blessing is in the fully. Am I communicating? Somebody say fully. When Jesus told them to fill the water pot, the Bible said they filled the water pot to the brim. Fully. If you're a singer, sing with all your heart fully. If you're an usher, usher fully with all your heart. The blessing is in the fully worship, the fully commitment, the fully, the consistency. 
continue put it there they were all with one accord in one place move it verse 2 and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire one sat upon each of them verse 4 and they were all filled with the holy spirit and they began to speak with tongues so, so the proof that i'm filled with the spirit is when i begin to speak with tongues the proof that i'm filled because they were filled with the spirit they spoke with tongues so the proof that you can't say i'm an asante but i can't speak asante am i talking and mary had make it a cheerful countenance what will prove to me that you have you are making merry in your heart is when i see your face cheerful so because they were filled with the spirit they spoke with tongues filled spoke with tongues now what do you take like do, do you have my 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 glass my quickly the cup thank you very much open it for me all right now we have water in take for instance i want to pour water in it to the brim when it gets to the brim automatically you begin to slip and you see the water falling right hello are you are you with me to the extent that when i keep pouring there will be bubbles they begin to bubble so when i'm full and god is pouring more then there will be that noise that that like a gush coming out you see so the proof that i'm filled is when i speak with tongues so because they were filled they spoke with tongues because they were filled they spoke with tongues now when you see any pastor speaking against speaking in tongues the pastor is not filled am i talking and spirit filled pastors you if you see them you see them so when i see you praying in the spirit it's a proof that you are filled with the spirit hey! I want to see singers singing filled with the spirit. I'm looking for the time where my girls, when you are singing, before you sing, you will just oh Ramama Spirit move. You prayed in tongues before you began. What clear atmosphere in the world? You deal with some mysteries. We're breaking off. Balibo semele yo labidian to sa kere la boye ne ya babali maleye. Okay, before we come and take my group pray in tongues. Uh. So if I visit now, you don't like us. Before you realize you are glued to what we are saying, because Charlie, you are chill. Before we be seen, we will celebrate. I'm not a singer, but as I pray in tongues and I sing, something comes down. I don't do voice training, but the Holy Ghost anoints my voice. Which means voice training has its holy place, then the Holy Ghost has its major holy place. If singers, apart from doing voice training, will pray in tongues, their ministries will be distinguished. Yeah. Baba Bayani, any Mnyam can eat me. I saw Yehoah. I saw Yehoah. Let's do it together. Any Mnyam can eat me. Your two hands up. I saw Yehoah. Can I hear a voice? Shit, come on. It's Yehoah. And in your car, it's in it. I saw you. It's in my mood. Oh, you're not me. Can you tell him? Now, and the so come on, shut up. I'm a This is who you're not me. It's a Oh. Oh, 
Was your praying to Obi to Internet or Kissy Radim? There was your radio. You are reporting, mommy. Listen, we are going to pray in tongues. Let's go and tell me. Hallelujah. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Mankabaya Ibalabaka Sadlinko Tali Azite. Come on, let me hear you, church. Oh, you know, no, 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 Come on, let me hear your voice. Monday, Sunday. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Come on now, church. Let me hear you speak in unknown tongues. Words you don't understand. You are speaking mysteries in between you and God alone. I am Oseveriando, Savariviriala, la la liando. Shama mama mayando. Ile vele mo se peli miriade. Ile le 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 me kosa. Come on, church. Bandovo sakati brihendo kesta. I had to get so kima lili alo so konte ma aliba ya. Hey, kaba. Rama ba 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 mo se melele be ya moliane. Ile 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 ile. Oh, rama ba 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 so bela. Come on, pray in the spirit, out of your belly. Let it flow, release. Kaba haya. You don't understand those words, but God does. Haya bo shanda ba imbolo sekeli ale shanda na liyado. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Listen. The second thing that will happen when the spirit is too much in control of your life, apart from speaking in tongues, you can find that from Acts 19 from verse 1. Let me show you. <clears throat> Acts 19 from verse 1, quickly. And it happened while Apollos was at Corinth that Paul, having passed through the upper regions, came to Ephesus and finding some disciples, he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? Which means that speaking in tongues is for believers. This is the point that I started with again. You have to believe before you are baptized in the Holy Spirit. So they said to him, we have not as much, so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. Move it, verse 3. And he said to them, into what then were you baptized? So they said, into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized you with the baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him that is on christ jesus verse 5. when they had this they were baptized in the name of the lord jesus verse 6. and when paul had laid hands on them the holy spirit came upon them so like people carry anointing and when they lay hand they can transfer see this this country is gradually degenerating into something else that the system is so corrupt that we don't believe in anointed men but people's hands are anointed when they touch you they can transfer the spirit of god am i communicating when paul laid hands on them put it there when paul laid hands on them, the bible says that the holy spirit came upon them and and they spoke with tongues and prophesied now that's my point when the holy ghost comes upon you apart from speaking in tongues you prophesy you are not clapping 
You prophesy. You prophesy. You prophesy. Of course, there is the ministry of the prophet, there's the office of the prophet, and then the gift of prophecy. This one is talking about the gift of prophecy. My children, my children, I'm the Lord that God that changed it not. I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. I declare you are blessed, you prosper, you succeed. So when Paul laid hands on them and they began to speak in tongues, they began to prophesy and they began to declare. The church is blessed. We are moving forward. No devil can stop us. Any obstacle, any barricade, we bring it down. They, they began to prophesy. They began to prophesy. And so one proof that you are super saturated with the spirit is when you begin to speak prophetic words. Tonight, apart from speaking in tongues, you are going to prophesy to your life. You're going to prophesy to your destiny. You're going to prophesy to your future. Going to prophesy to your finance, your business, anything your hand would touch, shall succeed. <clears throat> you are going to speak the mind of God over everything concerning your life. Are you saying amen? amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So when the Holy Ghost comes upon, apart from speaking in tongues, you prophesy. Speak words. Agandiboya. There are times I will just wake up and I'll speak to myself. Edwin, you are anointed. The hand of God is on you. No devil can stop you from succeeding. Because you are so blessed and so anointed. That's why you have so much enemies. The Lord prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So the more you see enemies, it, it means you have a lot of tables. And I tell myself. And I speak to my spirit. Move forward. And make it big to the glory of God when i finish saying this and i step out and you have any opinion about me it's in your head i've convinced myself who i really am see it's time you have to speak over your life because our world is so wicked nobody wants to tell you anything good about yourself you better do that yourself lift your right hand up let's can we practice it say i'm the head and not the tail i'm above and not beneath say goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of god forever say i shall not die i will live to declare the works of god say the lord shall prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies say i'm too blessed to be stressed say 2019 will be my year i prophesy on my life that every closed door is open i'm lifted i'm favored i'm honored i'm anointed i'm blessed Tell your neighbor look at me very well after church please be fast to take my number because i may be your boss are you clapping like that <laughs> I, I told you i told you i told you what happened in south africa i i preached this message in a pastor french church the pastor is a nigerian pastor obina very powerful <laughs> man of god and I told the members that go tell somebody that look at me very well tomorrow by this time I'll be your boss. And a church, church member said, Muhad, you know, a church member left the back, a church of about 6,000 people. The church member left the back. Pastor, make one look at me. Tomorrow by this time I'll be your boss. And the pastor said, God forbid. <laughs> Lift your hands up. Say, I'm blessed. Say, I'm favored. And this one comes by the Holy Ghost. He empowers you to have utterance. The gift of utterance. Where you say things over your life and it come to pass. The gift of prophecy. I'm blessed. I'm favored. I'm honored. I'm anointed. I'm great. I'm moving forward. I won't die prematurely. Nothing will be able to stop me. The enemy will come against me, but like a flood, God will lift up a standard against him. You begin to speak things over your, le your life and destiny. That's the second thing that happens when the spirit is on you. And most often you say these positive things in the midst of adverse circumstances. When everything says the contrary and everything is telling you it can't work. Then something rises in you and you tell yourself it is well with my soul. It's well. Anybody here who believes this will be the best year for you? No matter what is happening. In the spirit, put your hand on your head. Say I decree and I declare. I'm not going down. 
and moving forward. Say 2019, everything I touch shall be blessed. Say I, I see doors opening on every side for me. And say enemies watch out. You will see me and you say my God is faithful. Let's get to the last point. Hallelujah. What the Holy Ghost would do when he comes upon you, apart from speaking in tongues and prophesying, Ephesians 5, the verse number 16. Ephesians 5. Redeem the time because the days are evil. Verse 17. Therefore do not, un do not be unwise do not be unwise. Don't be unwise. Say 2019. Take strategic and intelligent decisions. Don't say in the name of Christ in TV. Tell your neighbor, be wise. Be wise. Yes. Christians, in the name of we are born again, so it's like we we'll throw away all our gumptions. No, be wise. Am I talking? You come for a meeting like this, and just after here, uh, somebody who calls me a prophet meets you outside. You don't know him from anywhere, and he tells you he saw that you are dead. As soon as he finishes, he say, "I'm sorry, my pastor didn't tell me." So I will leave to declare the works of God. Because. Listen, in the spirit, there are legalities. If not submitted your, your, your life under somebody's jurisdiction, he has no right to see any vision about you. Am I talking? If the person doesn't have any personal contact with you, he cannot have any vision for you. Unless you have guarded yourself, sat in your car and go and sit in his meeting to submit yourself to his anointing. Am I communicating? The person has no business receiving a prophecy for you. And so the people get so depressed because they met somebody around a Chimata forest area and the person told them he sees that a dog is chasing them and they, they are going to die in two days time and they come here very depressed and I'm like why why I finished preaching on Sunday I did not see any dog I saw angels how come Are you clapping for Jesus? <laughs> ah, <laughs> come on. I think if there was any dog chasing you, I, I couldn't have seen it. Ah, Ghana Hanyamia Dumami can senior prophet in the home. So I'll see it. So don't be depressed because somebody met you and told you something and then you are depressed. And, and, and sometimes, they, they, how they even do it? They instill fear in you and leave you like that. And you are so confused. No. Oh. Madam, I said, Oh, you be cool. <laughs> no. Hallelujah. So be wise. Tell your neighbor, be wise. Be wise. Hallelujah. Can you put it there again? Uh -huh. But understanding what the uh, uh, verse 18, verse 18, and do not be drunk with wine. Tell your neighbor, don't drink alcohol. Tell the person, I don't care whether it's zero percent, it's one percent or quarter percent, whatever percent, and drink. I did it. But I'm Bishop, we see Brookman. Hallelujah. Say alcohol is not good. I'm not hearing you. Come on now. Amen. It's not good. So he says, don't be drunk with wine. In which is this patient? But be filled with the spirit. He says that if, if, you want, if you want to drink alcohol, as a child of God, don't drink alcohol drink the spirit because what the alcohol can do the holy ghost can even do more naturally 
naturally i'm the cool i'm very quiet you come to my office i'm very cool but when the holy ghost comes upon me i become something else because when the holy ghost comes on me, it moves you to do things i always say coincidence in, in the spirit that's why we do the things we do the holy ghost can move you to act like somebody intoxicated but in the spirit he says that the holy ghost and alcohol cannot coexist in your body so if you need more of the spirit then stop drinking too much alcohol don't drink at all because he says that instead of being drunk be filled with the spirit be filled with the spirit be filled with the spirit we have this scripture in the bible and people still say that there's no scripture in the bible that says don't drink i'm going to preach one day a message on war on alcohol a lot of scripture you'll be shocked a lot of scriptures that is against drinking amen all right so um, and i'm not picking up on anybody i'm just talking is the spirit leading me to talk let's talk <laughs> all right so um so 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 that is the scripture that is the scripture that is the the spirit we speak to one another in psalms in hymns and in spiritual do you know there are spiritual songs huh? once i was singing and then i caught i was caught up in the spirit and i had angels singing and i sang the song because we were singing spiritual songs now if there are spiritual songs it means there are kind of songs yes So the singers please if the song doesn't center around christ the holy ghost the blood there are some songs that devils will be a savior you see um, <laughs> you see um so you sing songs that that honors the lord and glorifies him Put the scripture and let me finish. He says, When you are filled with the spirit, apart from speaking in tongues and prophesying, the third thing is that you speak to one another in Psalms. In Psalms. Give me one of the psalm, um, songs from Psalms. I am trusting, 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 trusting. That's a psalm. Trusting, trusting, trusting. That, that's that's a psalm. Why oh, not a bar kumem? Give me one of those psalms. And, and yes. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is with thee. Put the scripture there. Bless his soul. It's a psalm. When you are filled with the spirit, these psalms easily comes out of your spirit. In the instance, they be now willful. They be now what two psalms. So if you see someone who is really filled with the spirit, a buffoon by and check partner, then there is joy. But to me, the show one bear one month. Hey, who's on the know I loaded? Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Follow me. Don't play that hymn. We hear him. We hear Psalm. We hear God's spiritual songs. You follow me. I thank you, Jesus. Malabo Shera Mamola. Midawa Si. Wanda Boshi. Messi Senye. Oh, Rama Mama 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 So Rama Yadole. It's a spiritual song. 
And the singers in the Biana, Ukta will sit, or Lewin and four, or say what two more be to be. She was all started, or so what she shall win them. Koto Jane, Bekuto, Tetrema, Beka, you two are not by him too, or your song too. Any man can eat. Asabu Yehoa, Asabu Yehoa, Intiva Hobo in a me. I wish <laughs> Allow the Holy Ghost to flow. <laughs> Amen. Allow the Holy Ghost to flow. Allow the Holy Ghost to flow. When some so bad, to the last hour was people night. Amen. Spiritual songs. Are you blessed, church? Let's stand to our feet and lift our hands up for me. Oh, hallelujah. Lima ko rababa. Ani, come. Just take us through some five minutes worship after that we all begin to burst in tongues we're going to pray in the holy ghost for hours sorry for some minutes pray more in the spirit lift, lift those hands up church wherever you are third service just let me see your two hands up come on now yeah, give me a song. oh be lifted uh, if you can protect that song for me so that all of us can really sing it we lay a
lift your voice and pray in tongues. Whatever you want. Somebody pray in the spirit. Come on. We play to yes, Marcus. We get to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, church. Lift your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost. Let me hear your voice. Come on, church. After me, as you prophesy to yourself, say, I receive fresh anointing on my life 2018, 2019. Say, this week, I receive fresh anointing, and I declare by this anointing that every yoke be broken, let every door be open, let the glory of the Lord be on my life, prepare a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, I thank you for your glory and I thank you for the anointing. Can you clap for the power of the Holy Ghost? Oh, hallelujah. We're going to zoom in into the anointing service. Every Sunday night, we anoint you and empower you for the week. We're going to pray that the Holy Ghost will come strong on your lives. Fire of God will come on you. The presence of God will come on you. So that this week you will go out there, confront every challenge, and make it big to the glory of God. Can I hear a big amen? amen? So we'll take the same song and ushers, you dial them from the back. But let me just pray for our viewers. <clears throat> if you're watching us, unfortunately, I cannot lay hands on you, but at least <laughs> you've enjoyed the word. Now, some telephone numbers will be displayed on the screens. Please send your prayer request. It's a fasting month. We're fasting and praying. And we'll be praying, we'll be praying with you. We'll, pray, we'll read your prayer request and pray for you. So make sure you do that so we pray for you but meanwhile as we do the anointing service you can be in the house and let touch base in the spirit and connect with us and i believe the holy ghost through this medium will touch your life as well amen all right so we'll take the song and then ushers will direct them 
we can go off briefly as we do the anointing service they can connect in the spirit and then we'll come back and i'll come and read their prayer request and pray for them so we can go off amen all right father i bless the oil and declare that we anoint your TV, networking the world with the gospel of grace. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Kumasi, Miracle and Prophetic Service 2019. God has spoken to me to come to Kumasi with the Miracle and Prophetic Service 2019. The theme is the days of his power. And the date is the 7th of February to the 10th of February 2019. The time is 6.30 p.m. each night. And the good news is that on the 8th, which is the Friday during the program, the 8th will be the mega prophetic online. And that one will start at 9 p.m. to 5 the next morning. All right. Then the Sunday, which is the grand finale, the 10th, I'll be staying in Kumasi. So I'll spend the, the morning, I'll do the morning church service there in Kumasi. And then the evening too, the morning service will be 8.30 in the morning. And then the evening at exactly 5 p.m. Because it's Sunday, 5 p.m. So we can close on time. But the Saturday, there will be a special Holy Ghost and praise worship. Praise and worship service on the Saturday. With myself and Minister Akofa together with the Rima stars, all the, the contestants who um, became the first and the second runner-up, including Minister Kofa, who was our winner, and myself. My, oh my. It will be loud praise, loud worship, and after that, I will prophesy. That will be on the Saturday. That is the 9th, the Saturday, the 9th of February 2019. That will be at exactly 5 p.m., the Saturday. Okay, so let me go over again. Kumasi Miracle and Prophetic Service 2019. The theme is the days of his power. The date, 7th February to the 10th of February 2019. The time is 6.30 p.m. each night. But then the Friday, which is the 8th, will be the prophetic mega all night. That will be 9 p.m. to 5 the next morning. And the Saturday will be a special Holy Ghost and praise and worship service with myself, Minister Kofa, and then the Rima Stars. All right? That will be at exactly 5 p.m the sunday will have two services the morning service with the church and then the evening will be the anointing service the morning is eight in the morning and the evening will be 5 p.m for the anointing service on sunday my goodness heaven will come down don't forget the venue as always the rcc auditorium at the third floor the house of prayer at edum opposite the, as the house okay at edum kumasi I can't wait to prophesy. I can't wait to preach the word. And I can't wait to be a blessing to my brothers and sisters in Kumasi. This one may be now Kumasi one week. And it's going to be super explosive. I know God will come through for you. And your life will never be the same. Meet you there. And let's do it together to the glory of God. God bless you. Amen. Are you seeking answers to the challenges of these times or in desperate need for a word from the Lord? Come to the Rema Prayer and Prophetic Service where you are thought to identify yourself in the finished work of Christ. Fervent prayers are made, decrees and declarations made based on Rema from the Bible and it's accompanied by breakthroughs, healings, restoration and answers. The venue is the Rema Carvus center had to station behind the MTN building time 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Counseling follows immediately with the bishop after service this and every Tuesday. Tuesday Rema prayer and prophetic service is under the auspices of the Owusi Brookman Ministries.
My people perish for lack of knowledge, so study to show thyself approved at the Wednesday teaching and Bible study service at 6 p.m. this and every Wednesday at the Rima Carver Center at your station behind the MTN building so you can stand your ground firm with a belt of truth buckled around your waist with a breastplate of righteousness in place and your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. See you at the Wednesday teaching and Bible studies. Don't be late. Rama TV, networking the world with the gospel. Are you seeking answers to the challenges of these times or in desperate need for a word from the Lord? Come to the Rema Prayer and Prophetic Service where you are thought to identify yourself in the finished work of Christ. Fervent prayers are made, decrees and declarations made based on Rema from the Bible and it's accompanied by breakthroughs, healings, restoration and answers. The venue is the Rema Carver center had to station behind the MTN building time 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Counseling follows immediately with the bishop after service this and every Tuesday. Tuesday Rema prayer and prophetic service is under the auspices of the Owusi Brookman Ministries. My people perish for lack of knowledge, so study to show thyself approved at the Wednesday teaching and Bible study service at 6 p.m. this and every Wednesday at the Rema Carver Center at your station behind the MTN building so you can stand your ground firm with a belt of truth buckled around your waist with a breastplate of righteousness in place and your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. See you at the Wednesday teaching and Bible studies. Don't be late. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Kumasi Miracle and Prophetic Service 2019. God has spoken to me to come to Kumasi with the Miracle and Prophetic Service 2019. The theme is the days of his power. And the date is the 7th of February to the 10th of February 2019. The time is 6.30 p.m. each night. And the good news is that on the 8th, which is the Friday during the program, the 8th will be the mega prophetic online. And that one will start at 9 p.m. to 5 the next morning. All right. Then the Sunday which is the grand finale, the tent, I'll be staying in Kumasi. So I'll spend the, the morning, I'll do the morning church service there in Kumasi, and then the evening too, the morning service will be 8.30 in the morning, and then the evening at exactly 5 p.m., because it's Sunday, 5 p.m., so we can close on time. But the Saturday, there will be a special Holy Ghost and praise worship, praise and worship service on the Saturday with myself, and Minister Akofa, together with the Rima Stars, all the, the contestants who um, became the first and the second runner-up, including Minister Akofa, who was our winner, and myself. My, oh my. It will be loud praise, loud worship, and after that, I will prophesy. That will be on the Saturday. That is the 9th, the Saturday, the 9th of February 2019. That will be at exactly 5 p.m., the Saturday. Okay, so let me go over again. Kumasi Miracle and Prophetic Service 2019. The theme is the days of his power. The date, 7th February to the 10th of February 2019. The time is 6.30 p.m. each night. But then the Friday, which is the 8th, will be the prophetic mega all night. That will be 9 p.m. to 5 the next morning. And the Saturday will be a special Holy Ghost and praise and worship service 
with myself, Minister Koffer, and then the Rima Stars. Right? That will be at exactly 5 p.m. The Sunday will have two services. The morning service with the church, and then the evening will be the anointing service. The morning is 8 in the morning, and the evening will be 5 p.m. for the anointing service on Sunday. My goodness, heaven will come down. Don't forget the venue, as always, the RCC Auditorium at the third floor, the House of Prayer at Edum, opposite the, as the house, okay, at Edum Kumasi. I can't wait to prophesy, I can't wait to preach the word, and I can't wait to be a blessing to my brothers and sisters in Kumasi. This one may be now Kumasi one week. And it's going to be super explosive. I know God will come through for you and your life will never be the same. Meet you there and let's do it together to the glory of God. God bless you. Amen. gospel of grace. My people perish for lack of knowledge, so study to show thyself approved at the Wednesday teaching and Bible study service at 6 p.m. This and every Wednesday at the Rema Carver Center had to station behind the MTN building so you can stand your ground firm with a belt of truth buckled around your waist with a breastplate of righteousness in place and your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. See you at the Wednesday teaching and Bible studies. Don't be late. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Kumasi Miracle and Prophetic Service 2019. God has spoken to me to come to Kumasi with the Miracle and Prophetic Service 2019. The theme is the days of his power. And the date is the 7th of February to the 10th of February 2019. The time is 6.30 p.m. each night. And the good news is that on the 8th, which is the Friday during the program, the 8th will be the mega prophetic online. And that one will start at 9 p.m. to 5 the next morning. All right. Then the Sunday which is the grand finale, the tent, I'll be staying in Kumasi. So I'll spend the, the morning, I'll do the morning church service there in Kumasi, and then the evening too, the morning service will be 8.30 in the morning, and then the evening at exactly 5 p.m., because it's Sunday, 5 p.m. Let's 
come on, pray. Lift your hands up. I saw power coming on you. By the count of seven, ushers, get ready. An anointing is about to transform somebody. Some people will prophesy. Some people will be caught up in the spirit. Strike the keyboard louder. One. And anybody in the Lord tells you, bring the person to me. Two. Three. Four. Cover. Cover. Five. Six. Seven. Holy Ghost. Come on now. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. It is coming. Holy Ghost. Be very fast. Big hours are come on. Maka baka da gada. Holy Ghost. Yeah. Come on, lift your hands and receive the glory. To the back of this auditorium. I'm seeing glory coming on somebody. Oh, works are broken, works are broken. Healing rain is falling down. Come on, lift your hands up. Hey, one's I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Close your hand, close your eyes. Finally, I release the anointing. I release the anointing. Oh, says, get ready. I see too much fire in here. Be very alert. Cover. Cover, cover, cover. Holy Ghost. It's like a real fire in your hands and in your spirit. Ministry will never be the same again. Yes, Them one by one. Let me touch them. Your ministry will never be the same after two. Let me bless your hands. 
get the prayer request. Stretch your hands on me. Those of you watching me in the house, I'm praying on your hands. You can, you can run quick and touch your TV set. And I believe the anointing through this medium will touch you. I'm anointed tonight and I feel the Holy Ghost is not limited. I declare he touches you. And he blesses the works of your hands and grants you the desires of your hearts. In the name of Jesus. I bless all these hands that this week, your hands will count serious money. Whatever you touch this week, I pray it will prosper. Receive the blessings of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody shout amen. amen. Can we clap for the Lord? We'd we'll like to pray for our, our partners. Um, the fast and prayer continues before we sign off. The fast and prayer continues tonight at exactly 10.30. Um, we'll pray with our partners, Rima TV partners. And one of our pastors will be taking on to pray with you. So you have to stay glued to yourself so that we can pray together. It's been one, um, 21 days fasting prayer convocation and we are praying. And every night, our, <coughs> our pastors have been praying with our viewers. So tonight is going to continue. Tomorrow the fasting continues. 6 to 6, we break at 6, 6.30, we are here. We come and we soak ourselves in the word. We pray till 9 p.m. and we go home. We continue Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and, Saturday, and Friday. The Friday will be an all night. This coming Friday is our mega prophetic all night. The all night of our fasting and prayer. Hey, nobody should miss this. If you're watching me from Wali Wali, <clears throat> watching me from Tamale, watching me from Sunyane, Kumasi, Cape Coast, Takwadi, Ho, Ho Hoi, um, the Eastern Region, Koforudia. If you're watching me from anywhere, listen, on Thursday, if you're from far, you set off. On Friday, if you're close, you set off. Everybody must be in Accra Hacho, behind the MTM building at the RCC Sanctuary. We're going to have an explosive time in the presence of God. You cannot afford to miss this all night. You can't. The first thing all night. You can imagine what will happen. God certainly has a word for you. I'm inviting all of you to come. Emmanuel from Navrongo says, I need prayer for financial breakthrough. Emma, I open the financial doors for you in Jesus' name. This one says, I'm Sheila from Kumasi. I need prayers for my children. I bless your children, Sheila, in Jesus' mighty name. This one says, I'm Naomi. I need financial breakthrough. I'm calling from Bogatanga. Financial breakthrough and marital breakthrough. I pray to open the financial door and I prophesy that the marital door will open as well for you, Naomi. In Jesus' mighty name. This one says, I'm Adam from Adan. God bless Bishop for the message for tonight. I need praise for divine intervention. I pray, Adam, and declare that God will bless you so that he will intervene supernaturally for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Um, this one says, I'm Barbara. In Zima. <clears throat> uh, my daughter is of 13 years old and has stroke oh god stretch your hand to me let's agree for barbara's um, child every demon of stroke do you believe god can heal the child will break the power of stroke will release the child and declare that god will inject her and strength will come into a system in jesus mighty name somebody shout amen. amen barbara will be waiting for your testimony in jesus mighty name hallelujah can we clap for jesus that's powerful Praise the Lord. Are you blessed? All right. So the fasting continues. I'm expecting all of you to come. It's not enough to stay in the house. You have to come and have an encounter with the prophet and the anointing and your life will never be the same. If you're watching me and you're not born again, we cannot close or sign off without giving you a chance to give your life to Jesus. You just have to pray a simple prayer. Just say, Father, I believe you are the son of God. You came to die for my sins. On the third day, you resurrected from the grave. You are alive forever come into my heart change my life and i will serve you the rest of my days in jesus name amen if you pray that prayer you are born again if you are not in accra i encourage you to find yourself a bible image where the word of god is taught and the power of god is demonstrated and the pastor's integrity go and join them and serve the lord faithfully there if you are in accra i want to be your pastor i invite you to accra hachu at the rcc sanctuary mm? every sunday we meet three times this is our third service we have the first service at 7, second service at 9.30, and the third service at 5.30. And this is what the, the third service, this is what we're doing. I invite you to join us in any of the meetings. And then every Friday, we have 
our one word from God prophetic service. This year, I'm going to really be in Accra more. I'm going to be having time with the church. And I'm encouraging you to just pass by one of these Fridays from 6.30, 9.30. And then every Tuesday, we have the prayer and prophetic service in the morning from 9 to 1.30. And just after that, I sit down and I counsel with people every Tuesday. If you want to see me one-on-one, -on -one, that's a time where you can meet with me. God bless you. We release blessings and favor on your life and declare this will be the most fruitful week you've ever encountered ever since you were born. You call me and you give me a testimony that Bishop, your God is indeed faithful. In Jesus' name. Sorry? A testimony? All right. Okay. Let's talk. Connect quick. Hello? 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 Good evening. Yes, good evening. Your name, please? Bismarck. Bismarck. Okay, talk to us. Uh, uh-huh. Jesus Christ. Are you clapping or you are doing something like clapping? Wow. Oh, for free. Oh, for free. Oh, for free. Oh, for free. In the spirit, there's no distance. And you open and this is here. Wow. Are you clapping for Jesus? Salute, the Holy Ghost is working. Are you clapping? We agree and we pray that the Father will walk and he will never be paralyzed anymore. The same God who has touched him tonight will sustain his health. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I would love to talk to him after. Can we clap for Jesus? This is Isaac. He says, when daddy asks us to are the same person. I'm on to the near Bismarck. No, I don't see anything. Bismarck. Okay. So we thank God. Can we just take advantage of this? Lift your hands. Any family member who is sick anywhere or is going through any problem. We ask that the power of God would touch that person. We declare that the Holy Ghost will enter families. We curse witches and wizards. We curse demons. We curse powers of darkness. We break every satanic influence and power and declare members of our families are released. And we lose miracles. In Jesus' name, amen. Can you clap for the Lord? So we can go off. Thank you very much. And God bless you. We won't do our offering.